Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Friday night. We're going to begin with the search for a motive after a 19-year-old gunman opened fire at a FedEx facility in Indianapolis overnight. Eight people were killed and five others were injured when Brandon Hole, a former FedEx employee, began firing an assault rifle at random as his former co-workers ran for their lives. Hole later killed himself. At a press conference late today, President Biden became emotional, calling gun violence in the U.S. a national embarrassment and imploring Republicans in Congress to help pass universal background checks. It is hard to fathom, but in the past month alone, there have been 53 mass shootings nationwide, defined as incidents where four or more people were shot, including those high-profile massacres at three Asian spas in Atlanta and at a supermarket in Boulder, Colorado. And yet again tonight, police now find themselves trying to piece together what could have driven another young man to destroy lives. At the same time, the victim's loved ones try to piece together their shattered families. CBS's Nikki Batiste is in Indianapolis tonight and is going to lead off our coverage from outside that FedEx facility. Good evening, Nikki. Nora, good evening. Tonight, police tell us this is still an active crime scene and they are working to identify bodies inside. We're also learning the suspect's mother warned police about her son last year. About 100 employees were inside this FedEx building when he opened fire. First responders raced to the chaotic scene, finding the wounded and the witnesses running for cover. They have an active shooter currently at FedEx. Police say a man armed with a rifle got out of his car, shooting people outside this FedEx facility. There was no confrontation uh, with anyone that was there. There was no disturbance. There was no argument. He just appeared to randomly start shooting. The massacre lasting just minutes, the gunman killing four people in the parking lot. Then going inside the building, he killed four more before taking his own life. The suspect took his life very shortly before officers actually entered the facility. Did not last very long. Police say the suspect has been identified as 19-year-old Brandon Scott Hole, a former FedEx employee. The FBI is searching his home for clues, but there is still no motive. The teen was detained in March of last year and a shotgun taken away after Hole's mother reported her son might try to die by suicide by cop. This is a sight that no one should ever have to see. Jeremiah Miller was outside FedEx when he saw the hooded gunman. He was yelling and he was screaming and he started and I saw a assault rifle of some sort. I saw the clip and he started firing bang, 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 bang. FedEx doesn't allow cell phones inside during work, so some frantic family members have been unable to reach those here during the attack. A lot of these people are so, you know, they're upset. They don't know if their loved ones are alive or are hurt. Mary Carol Weissert hasn't heard from her husband since he left for work. Surreal and shock, but not knowing. He might be fine. We don't know. She and her husband, Steve, have been married nearly 50 years. We don't know whether we should be here to pick him up, to take him back. If he's in the hospital, we know nothing. You know, we're not the criminals. Why can't they just pull us aside and say this is what it is? And at least, you know, if he is deceased, at least we know this. Tonight, we have learned some employees' cell phones are still in their cars here. Investigators are beginning the painful process of notifying family members. Five victims with gunshot wounds were treated at local hospitals. Nora. Nikki Batiste, thank you.